Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on cables. Let us read the question. A steel wire having density of 90 into 10 power minus 3 Newton per centimeter cube is supported at its end supports at the same level. The central dip is restricted to 1 by 8 of the horizontal span. The permissible stress of the cable is 400 Newton per centimeter square. Find the horizontal span of the cable. From the question, let us write the given data. The central dip H is given as 1 by 8 of the horizontal span. 1 by 8 into L. We will get L upon 8. The density of the cable is given as 90 into 10 power minus 3 Newton per centimeter cube and the permissible stress is given as 400 Newton per centimeter square. We know the formula to find the length of the cable that is S. The formula is L plus 8H square upon 3L. For H we can apply L upon 8. 8 square is 64. Then we can eliminate this 8 and here it will be 8. 8 into 3, we will get 24. We can eliminate this L and square. For both of these two terms, we can take LCM. L into 24, we will get 24L. Finally, for S, we will get 25L upon 24. Now, let us find the total weight of the wire. To find that, we have to multiply the density with the volume. Volume is equal to length of the cable S yes, into cross sectional area A. After multiplying, we will get this. We can take this total weight as the total load. We know that in the case of uniformly distributed loads, to find the total load, we have to multiply the load with the distance L. We can equate this and this. Then we can eliminate L. Finally for W, we will get 0.09375A in a cable supported on the same level and carrying uniformly distributed load. The formula to find the horizontal thrust H is WL square upon 8H. For W, we can apply this. And for H, we can apply L upon 8. We can eliminate 8. Also, we can eliminate L and square. Finally, for H, we will get this. In the cable, to find the vertical reactions, we have to use the formula WL upon 2. For W, let us apply this. Finally, for the vertical reaction V, we will get this. We know the formula to find the maximum tension. That is root of V square plus H square. For V, we can apply this. And for H, we can apply this. After the calculation, for T max, we will get this. We know the formula. The cross-sectional area is equal to the maximum tension upon the permissible stress. The permissible stress is given as 400. Let us apply that. Let us take 400 on the other side. So it will come in the numerator. For the maximum tension, we can apply this. Then we can eliminate A. Finally, for the span, we will get 38.16 meter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.